The future king, 72, was preoccupied with conversation about South Devon cattle when he landed his foot in a rather pungent pile of fresh cow pat. Cattle judge Anne Tully, from Brixham, Devon, reassured Charles afterwards. I told him that was luck, that's what we always say, she said. The Duchess of Cornwall joined the prince in Harrogate where they spent three hours touring the show. One of the prince's many passions is organic farming and he was seen in high spirits as he inspected prize-winning cattle and sheep. The royals encountered champion 1,550 kg Hereford Bull Morally won Rebel Kicks, owned by Tom and Di Harrison from Stocksfield, Northumberland, while touring the agricultural show. Owner of the prize-winning Hereford Bull Mr. Harrison said he thoroughly enjoyed talking to the Prince of Wales. I could have talked to him for an hour, he said. He is very knowledgeable and I would have liked to have bought him a pint. Prince Charles has been an adamant supporter of organic farming for many years. In the mid-1980s he made the controversial decision to switch to organic farming, upsetting many British farmers. However, around the early 2000s many farmers made the switch themselves and adopted practices he implemented two decades ago. With roughly half of all the habitable land on earth used for agriculture, I cannot think of a sector more central to the survival of the planet, Charles told BBC Radio 4. How we produce food has a direct impact on the earth's capacity to sustain us, which has a direct impact on human health and economic prosperity. As we profit from nature, so nature must profit from us, but our current approach will lead to a dead end, no matter how cost-effective intensive food production appears to be. Our current approach is forcing many small family farms to the wall. If they go, it will quite simply rip the heart out of the British countryside. 